Hi, everyone. I'm Rick Elliott, tech writer on Data Studio. And I'm Ricardo Muti. I'm a product manager on Data Studio. So we're coming at you today from our home offices to show you how you can visualize your data in a Google map inside a Data Studio report. Uh, so Ricardo, uh, with all that's going on in the world these days, people have been spending a lot of time looking at maps. Uh, and obviously, a lot of people are really familiar with Google Maps uh, for getting driving directions and, and such. Um, what is it about bringing a Google Map into Data Studio that is so powerful for our customers? Well, with Data Studio, we want to help you visualize your data and break it down along different dimensions. And two sort of universal dimensions that are present in almost all data are the when and the where, so date and time and geographic location. And one natural way of visualizing the where is on a map. So the existing geo map visualization that we have, it's essentially a set of static maps. So if the map that you need is one of those maps, you're good. But we've heard from a lot of users where, well, I don't have a map of this part of the world, or I wish I could zoom in more. Uh, it's not that interactive. I can't pan and zoom. Uh, so these are problems that are naturally solved by Google Maps, where they've mapped every corner of the world in detail. It's highly interactive. We're all using it. We're all familiar with it. There's no training needed. So it just felt like this belongs in Data Studio. That sounds really great. How about giving us a demo? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do that. So here I've got a report that's connected to our Google Merchandise Store demo account. And we've got these merchandise stores across the US. And we want to get people to come and visit these stores. So we're running a set of local search ads. And we want to see where those search ads are working at getting people to come into the store. So on the left, I've got my ad spending by state. And on the right, I've got the cities where I've got stores. And this is, works well at the national level. I can see where my stores are. But suppose I wanted to focus on California. If I click California, it'll filter to California. But it doesn't actually zoom in. And there's no way for me as a report viewer to zoom in. And further, what if I wanted to focus on the Bay Area? I do have this little inset here, but I really wish I could just properly zoom in and get a map of the Bay Area. So let's upgrade this report with a Google map. I'm going to click the Edit button here, go into Edit mode. And just like other charts in Data Studio, I can start with my geo map if you already have one and easily convert to a Google map in one click. Or even if you had a non-map, like a table or a chart, you can convert that to a Google map if you've got a geographic dimension. But just to show you how easy it is to start from scratch, I'm just going to delete this map and go add a chart, just like any other type of visualization. And uh, let's choose a Google map and just insert one. And with no configuration, it's going to find a geographic dimension in my data and plot a map. So here it chose state. So I'm getting one bubble for each state in which I have a merchandise store. I actually want to see the individual store locations. So let me just grab the address field. And I'm going to drag and drop that in to plot one bubble for each store address. Uh, so Ricardo, you can plot addresses without uh, using latitude and longitude. You can now. So previously, you could only go down to the city level. But now if you have addresses, we will actually search for them using Google Maps, just like as if you had typed those addresses into Google Maps. Uh, the difference being that it would probably take you a long time to search for hundreds or thousands of addresses, whereas we can do it in a split second. We can also plot postal codes or zip codes now. So here I've got uh, my store locations. And it's just showing the location itself without any additional information. So that's not super interesting. Let's make it more interesting by visualizing some metrics for those stores. So I can actually visualize two different metrics, one represented by the bubble size and one by the color. So let's visualize the store visits, number of store visits using the bubble size. And let's visualize the amount that I'm spending on ads for each store visit. So basically, my return on ad spend, uh, my cost per store visit using color. And I want to really highlight those stores where I'm spending the most money for each store visit, so the least efficient store ads, and color those red. And right away, I'm going to see some red bubbles that I'm going to want to drill into later. Uh, just like other charts in Data Studio, if I wanted to restrict the date period, if I wanted to add a filter and see only certain stores, I can do that. If it was Google Analytics data and I wanted to look at a particular segment, I could do that. One thing here I'll do before we go into interacting with this report is just enable this imply filter mode, uh, where now this map can actually act as a filter as well. 
So I can click bubbles in the map and cross filter these metrics and these visualizations on the page. So let's go interact with this report. I'll click view. And now let's say that I wanted to focus on California. It will not only filter by California, but automatically zoom me into a map of my stores in California. And if I want to focus on the Bay Area, I can manually pan and zoom around just like I'm used to doing in Google Maps itself. And here I can see, uh, because I've applied that uh, filter mode, I can click the San Francisco store and see that a pretty typical cost per store visit is 78 cents uh, per store visit. I want to see that under a dollar. When I go click on San Jose, I can see that that is almost $2 that I'm spending per store visit. So that might not be a good return. I might want to look at what's going on with that ad or maybe optimize that ad. That's very cool. Uh, so Ricardo, that map has a kind of different look and feel than the typical Google map I might see from looking for driving directions. Uh, what kind of control do we have over the look and behavior of a Google map in Data Studio? Yeah, you have a lot of control. So we use this uh, sort of grayscale map to make it so that your data is more visible. But if you prefer a different style, we have lots of options. Uh, and it's integrated with report theming. So for example, if I preferred a dark report theme to a light report theme, the report will actually automatically change to using a dark map style, which is pretty cool. I'll just switch this back. If you go into the map and go into the style tab, you'll see the full set of options available to you. So let's say you did want that more traditional Google map style, like when you go to maps.google.com, you certainly have that style available to you. You've got satellite imagery that you can turn on. Uh, if you didn't want to see labels for like the United States and the individual states, you could just dial those down or turn them off completely. So a lot of control over the look and feel. If you wanted to really, really customize it at a fine grain, there's actually tools to be able to fully customize the map style. And then you can copy the JSON from there and paste it in here. So it's extremely flexible. And beyond the look and feel, you can actually customize the behavior as well or the interactivity. So normally, you'd want your users to be able to pan and zoom. But let's say you didn't want them to be able to do that, you can turn that off. And if you didn't want users to be able to go into full screen view or go into street view, you can turn that off as well. Wait, wait a minute. Did you say street view? You can use uh, street view in a Google map in Data Studio? Yeah, you can. So let me show you that. I'll just go to view the report. Uh, let's look at Washington State this time. So in Washington State, all of our stores are in the Seattle, greater Seattle area. So it's automatically zoomed in there for me. And I might want to look at what's going on with this red bubble in Seattle. I'll just zoom into the neighborhood there and drag my little peg man and say, like, what, what does the store look like? What does the neighborhood look like if I'm not familiar with it? You can even go into full screen mode. So it's really immersive. You get a sense for what this building looks like. These are actually Google offices. So this is one of our newest offices in Seattle. It looks like a, an urban area. Yeah, Ricardo, I don't, I don't actually believe that that's Seattle. What was that bright thing up in the sky? Yeah, so my uh, Californian colleagues, uh, Rick among them, like to tease me that there's no sun in Seattle. But I present to you photo evidence. That was an impressive demo. So our customers already know that Data Studio is a pretty powerful data visualization tool. But with adding Google Maps and interactivity and Street View, it's almost like we're building uh, an application platform. What are you and the team working on next? Uh, well, one thing we'd like to add is suppose that instead of seeing bubbles plotted on the map, you wanted to see shaded regions. So maybe you'd see Washington State in one shade and California in a different shade, depending on the value of some metric like cost per store visit. Uh, that's one thing that we're starting to work on and would like to add. Got it. So that's the Coral Pleth map, right? Yeah, exactly. And uh, maybe if you're viewing this video in the future, that's something that you might already see. Ricardo, thanks so much for that demo. This is really exciting stuff. So that's how easy it is to visualize your data using Google Maps in Data Studio. You can learn more and give us feedback by visiting the Help Center at support.google.com slash data studio.